Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. Today we are going to do a video which was requested of me and one I've been looking forward to doing for a really long time and that is another upcycling video. Have any of you been doing puzzles over the isolation period with COVID-19? I know I certainly have but there's nothing worse than getting near the end of a puzzle and realizing you have pieces missing and then you're stuck with this puzzle going what am I supposed to do with it? Well I have a solution for you. So if you've got puzzles with pieces missing and you want to know what to do with them keep on watching be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future uploads and without further ado let's jump into the video Were any of you like me growing up and you always wanted those like magnetic letters that you could put on your fridge to make words and things like that? I always wanted them, uh, but I never had them. But this is a really great way that you can create it yourself. All I did was simply flip the pieces over and then write letters on them. Or you can paint them in whatever color you like. You could also do them in black and make it like a blackboard effect. All I then did was cut up an old magnet and then you can put them up on your fridge, you can make crosswords, you can make all these sorts of things. You could even, if you wanted to, make your own cards for people so you could have it spelling out happy birthday or something like that. But it's a really simple and fun way to use up some old puzzle pieces and also make something else. The second thing that you could do is really great if you are a student or someone who likes to read. You can paint your puzzle pieces or color them in with markers or whatnot and then just put a little bit of glue on the top of a paper clip and then you make a unique little bookmark, which is really cool, especially as I said, if you're studying and you want to mark different pages in a textbook or if you just need a bookmark because you like reading like I do. They're really handy and so simple to make. This one is my favorite and I just got a picture frame from Kmart and then I measured out how many pieces I would need to do the perimeter of the picture and then separated them into even piles. And then I picked my colors and set off painting them. Here is a pro tip for you though. If you don't want your puzzle pieces to stick to paper or whatnot because they have a tendency to do that once paint hits them, just get a piece of blue tack and you can just stick them. I just use a paddle pop stick, but you can just stick them to the paddle pop stick and then when you pull them off, you're not gonna get paper attached to them and it's just gonna be a lot cleaner a process. Side note, this is also a picture of me when I was a baby. How cute was I? You could do that as a gift for someone or to frame things around your house or to do it for your kids. You could frame a mirror like that. Or if you do scrapbooking, it's also a really unique way that you could do scrapbooking. You could even go one step further with the frame and do the lettering and put it down the bottom of a frame as well. That could be really cool. The options are limitless. If you want to seal them so they're not going to get damaged or anything like that, just cover them in some Mod Podge. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. But just cover it in that glue and seal it and you'll be good to go. 
that's all I have for you guys today. A bit of a short one, but as I said, it was highly requested. And if you are interested in seeing more things that you can do with puzzle pieces, please let me know in the comments down below because I'd like to continue doing things like this too because I had a lot of fun making these and they were so simple. Most of them took about five minutes to make. Even the frame took about 10 minutes, maybe 15, and most of that was getting the paint to dry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. And I will see you next week. My favorite and uh, or, uh, blah, blah, blah. my hair today is looking a little bit crazy. And uh, y'all can see I need to get my regrowth done. Say it, Mog, Mog Podge? I don't know.